An amazing and highly controversial video started to make the rounds in America and around the world several years ago. It purportedly shows a creature, or being from another planet, being interviewed by the U.S. government at Area 51 in Nevada. Jeff Broadstreet, a producer, worked on a documentary about the alleged alien interview. He claims it shows an alien being, and the American government somehow let it leak out. Broadstreet says he obtained a strange video from a mysterious source simply known as Victor. He said that he smuggled it out of Area 51 when the footage was being transferred from videotape to digital disk storage, and that's how he was able to get the footage out. According to the source, what we are seeing is an EBE, an extraterrestrial biological entity, held in an interrogation room uh, at Area 51 and he is being interrogated by a government telepath. Take a very careful look at this supposed alien being as he sits in a small interrogation room at Area 51. Is he really answering questions telepathically as the source Victor claims? The thing about the footage and the thing that grabs people is that after you look at it, it has this kind of creepy quality that tends to get to people and it tends to kind of hook them. Uh, whether, whether you believe it or you disbelieve it, people want to see the footage. Suddenly, the alleged alien seems to suffer a coughing attack. Within seconds, supposed medical personnel are at his side, giving him comfort. The medics rush in and shine a light in his face as if to, to, to take a look at his, at his mouth, his airway, as if uh, cleaning it out or supposedly the way, they, the way they breathe is not the same way that, that, that we breathe. So the medics come in while he's coughing or choking and that's uh, essentially where the footage ends. But the question has to be asked, could it really be possible that an alien was interviewed by the government? Or is it simply a deceptive well-executed hoax. The Hollywood animatronic puppet experts basically thought it looked fake and puppety. Though skeptics find it hard to believe, Broad Street still thinks the alien interview could be authentic. You have to think, or maybe possibly speculate, that if they have uh, captured flying saucers, that there might possibly be pilots or occupants of those flying saucers. Interestingly, Broad Street's open-minded take on the alien interview footage got some support in 2007 when UFO researchers photographically compared widely released images of Victor, the man who supposedly smuggled the footage out of Area 51, with images of a high-ranking former military officer who has reacted very emotionally when shown the footage. While the identity of the mysterious Victor has fueled much speculation ever since the alien interview was first made public, Careful comparisons of Victor's physical characteristics, clothes, and the location where he was first interviewed for Broad Street's documentary seem to match the military officer's look, clothes, and even a location where he himself was separately filmed. Though no firm conclusions can be drawn from the 2007 investigation into the source of the video's identity, it has reignited the debate and inspired skeptics and believers alike to seek more information about the strange footage, its origin, and who ultimately might have leaked it to the world.